Hey, what's up guys? It's Fit by First day three and I am coming at you from my house, from my beautiful purple man cave uh, slash classroom for my girls. Um, it's been just a long, long day. It's about nine o'clock at night, probably um, somewhere after 830, I'm sure. And um, it's just been a long day and a lot of stuff didn't really go as planned. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to do something fun that would have gotten my heart rate up or you know been like a workout level sort of thing just because of the way the day went and uh, we had some work done at the house and my uh, sister and brother-in-law and uh, family over for dinner and dinner didn't go as planned. Um, I got a new smoker for my birthday which I was really stoked about um, but I am not a smoke pro and so um, just didn't cook as quickly as uh, I needed it to or at least in the time that I allowed for um, just didn't really go the way that I wanted it to go and um, so you know we ran out and had to grab Hardee's chicken tenders for dinner and uh, which are delicious but don't really fit the fit by first plan and so um, just kind of worn out my body hurts I'm sore uh, from yesterday and from the baseline test and uh, it's just been a rough day um, there's been some great things I had the opportunity to go and speak at uh, a local school to some students about Jesus and about Good Friday and and to share the gospel with them but even then I tried to get kind of a, a cool group quick video shot of you know the whole student body there gathered up three go and uh, ran out of storage on my phone so um, didn't know it then but that was kind of a precursor to um, what was going to be kind of the way the day had gone and the theme of the day today for me totally was um, didn't go as planned and we're gonna have days like that and I know that anybody like not even people that are trying to work out you have days that don't go the way that you planned for them to go but the important thing is that we don't get down and we don't allow that to derail us. For me, that's really easy. Um, for me, it's really easy to think about how much I've failed or how much um, I struggle. Um, in fact, in December, I started Fit by First um, on probably one of the like darkest nights for me. I was just feeling depressed and down and awful. And... Um, in a moment of weakness, in a moment of desperation, signed up for a fitness challenge. And it's been awesome and it's been helpful and God has used it to really change my life and my outlook on life and to show me how important it is to be physically fit and to honor him in my body. But every day doesn't go the way that we plan. And the important thing is to, to not give up, to not lose hope, to allow ourselves to learn from these opportunities and to stick to it. And so um, I wanted to encourage anybody out there, whether you're doing a fit fitness challenge uh, like me or whether you know, you're know you just having a rough spot in life, don't give up, don't stray away from what you know is right. The things that God has shown you um, that are right for you to be doing right now, stick with it, stay the course because it's worth it. When we persevere and we press on, um, it grows us and it makes us stronger. And so. I'm going to use today as one of those opportunities, you know, I ate chicken tenders and um, got to go to Skinny Dip, which was my idea, um, frozen yogurt bar after dinner. And it was an opportunity for me to eat frozen yogurt in a way I hadn't before, which was to get some fruit instead of the candy and cereal and chocolatey sauce all over it like I usually do. So I use it as an opportunity to kind of reset my, my taste for that. But um, yeah, just, just kind of one of those long days that's, that's tough. I got a killer headache right now. Um, there was only one ibuprofen left in the bottle. So, um, yeah, one of those days. But persevere, press on, stay encouraged, and keep at it. Um, I plan on doing that the same as well. So don't let rough days steal your joy. Um, don't know what this weekend's going to look like. We don't really have workouts or anything like that, but... Hopefully I will um, have something to share, um, maybe uh, 
but we will see. So if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you definitely Monday with another update. So thanks for checking things out. Thanks for, for following me so far. I'd love to continue to have your support, and I want to encourage you to go and check out my friends, the Carolinos, as they vlog on their YouTube channel, uh, Vlogalino, and I'll put a link uh, for them on the blog and on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for checking in. I'll see you next time.